in this video we will today we will talk about what is replicated in central finance so there are a lot of things which are replicated and there are a few things which are not replicated so today we will focus on what is replicated and how and then in another video we'll talk about what is not replicated which is the next video we are in the process of continuing the same same series uh, this is a faq series for the central finance uh, questions and answers where we now we pick each topic and each topic is uh, answered with some questions and this is the 11th video in the same series we will continue with the same as we move on in the process so question for today uh, do cfin replicate generic master data and when we say generic master data it may be like customer vendor material gl account profit center etc so the answer is no as you are aware from from other learnings and from my other videos that central finance is all about replicating transaction data through standard central finance project and of course there are few more things being added from time to time however the master data is still not part of the central finance uh, replication for example uh, when we say customer vendor material it is assumed that when central finance project is starting or when you are starting the initial load these objects should be existing in s4hana system and this should be mapped to the objects in the source system right so this the mapping should exist the data should exist and then you can on top of that you can replicate your transactional data which is accounting documents co documents and other which we will talk about now however you can have to use your own tools it may be mdg standard sap or it may be adm or it may be uh, other master data governance or master data mdm tools however sap central finance does not you need to have that before you implement that governance part and then you come to central finance what is replicated in terms of non generic master data however sap central finance still replicates some of the data which is key to post accounting transactions and the important is this in this is the object master data you have internal orders you have production orders you have process orders all those are replicated which is being saved currently in ecc in aufk table so you take an example of any internal order you create in ecc it will be replicated to cfin in initial load as well as in real time replication and will be mapped automatically to cfin master data you can have n is to 1 or 1 is to 1 definition in the config and accordingly cfin will behave for example you have you create a 100 internal orders and you have n is to 1 then in cfin all will be mapped to one order but if you have one is to one each time the data is moving from ecc to cfin the system will create a new internal order and map it one is to one because you have given that configuration and then we have activity rates which are moving from ecc to cfin and then we have project system master data including wps element so this is a very latest announcement we will discuss more uh, however these are the gen non generic master data specifically financial master data which is being replicated what doc what documents are replicated so if you see on the screen now we have accounting document from ecc accounting document from non sap system this is very interesting that if you have on source side your oracle jd edwards or microsoft dynamic navision your non accounting document non sap system accounting documents are also my move moving from cfin to from source to cfin sorry controlling document which are stored in cobk table changes to accounting document if you are making any change in the accounting document uh, during the process for example you change any particular field or any change which is permitted in ecc it will be replicated through cfin and then commitment documents and profit center accounting documents if you see on the screen side now we have fin cf under uh, which is the name space and then we have accounting document accounting document changes uh, accounting document external interface ac doc ex which is non sap systems commitment cost controlling document cost object replication which is aufk profit center and then master data i just mentioned uh, master data so this table includes your documents as well as some master data which cfin is replicating and then we have you see some points like simul simulation simulation is before you make actual posting system you can do simulation and you see if there is any error coming or any something you resolve the error and then you do actual posting it is a recommended practice to do simulation to ensure you resolve all the errors uh, before you do the actual posting 
So that's why you see all the simulation objects are also defined. It is optional, but recommended. How it is evolving considering the future roadmap? A very good question, which comes to uh, to me and it has been asked in few years. Uh, what is coming next? So each time SAP is coming with new release, they are adding few more items to the bucket uh, slowly and gradually like activity rates and material cost estimate I just mentioned this is being just added in 1909 release so if you see my uh, screen on the right hand side now you don't see material cost estimate and uh, activity rate because it this screen is from 1809 system so in 1909 yes more objects are being added and if anything is needed urgently in the project, you have to think about custom, but it is recommended that you wait and uh, SAP will come in future as each release, they are coming up with more objects being added to the, to the story. So it is important also to understand and align your project as well as project planning, as well as your project stakeholder expectations with the, with the release, which is coming every year. And you can also do mid-year uh, uh, mid-year migration or mid-year upgrade of your system so that to get benefits uh, out of that because in mid of the year also there are feature pack stacks coming for, for each release. So that's all for today. We talked about uh, the object which are replicated. So if you just a quick recap in 30 seconds, uh, AIFR handling we covered, central payments we covered mappings we covered non sap system integration has been uploaded the video is there reconciliation reports video is there what is replicated in central finances today you are now watching and now you wait and watch for uh, more things uh, what SIFIN does not replicate and why uh, that i will explain you in next uh, video uh, so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with, it with your friends and colleagues so that uh, they also gain the benefit out of it. So now you have the full fledged library on the channel for central finance in terms of FAQ, in terms of detailed videos. And once we complete this FAQ series, I will come up with the configuration videos. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel.